Hello everyone, I hope that all of you are doing well. With my shave today I decided to start using some of my samples that I collected over the last months and with this we may officially call a new shaving series, maybe sample shave, I don't know, maybe something else, I'll think about it, but sample shave just hit me as an idea. I have quite a few samples um, and today I decided to start with sterling soap. Many people start their shaving with sterling and I have this one here. I actually have quite a few that I purchased myself. Here, quite, uh, how many? Six more. I think that I should have a couple more lying around, but these are only the ones that I ordered from sterling. Um, I have quite a few more, so yeah. Someone needs to shave with this, so let's give it a shot. Barbershop, the scent notes uh, as description for this one, just describe a scent that is trying to recreate the memory of being in an old barbershop. It's a nice, pleasant, clean, clean smell. And I have not a lot of barbershop uh, experience myself in terms of soap smell. The other barbershop that I used before is the one by Rockwell. Um, and just in comparison, this smells a bit more kind of like refined as a smell and the Rockwell smells a bit more like a cream, like, you know, there is a little bit more of chemical notes. For today, um, I'm gonna lather in front of you. So I'll just prepare the soap, open the, the packaging here and scoop a little bit. Okay, I have the soap here, added a little bit of water with my sprayer. Uh, that's a generous amount, but uh, yeah, I have plenty of soap, so let's use it. Um, for the brush, I continue to use my Zenith bore brush. Here it's been soaking for a few minutes. More water. Let's squeeze the water from the knot. Yeah, this bore knot, I highly recommend it. It's so soft after just my, my first wash with it. It was really pleasant. So let's start the lathering. Yeah, the smell is still the same. Nothing changes here. Um, another cool thing that we're gonna do together in front of the camera. I don't think that I uh, did lathering in a bowl with this brush, but uh, yeah, I like uh, I like the brush not only for space lathering but also for bowl lathering. And as you know, I I usually bowl lather. I like the ritual. First time shaving with sterling, um, and as you can, yeah, as you could see, the the sample size is very big. This will last for a while if you want to shave with it. Very generous. Um, their soap containers are also large. The price point is excellent, which makes them very appealing. Uh, this is a beef tallow base. I don't. I I assume that they have um, different bases for their soaps. I know that they have a sheep towel as well, uh, if I'm not wrong. Mm, yeah, we have that creamy, thick consistency, so now I add more lather. If you don't like lathering, yeah, feel free to move forward. It's been a while since my last video. My schedule lately has been crazy, super hectic. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy that I, I have a little bit of opportunity to record this. Today in Vancouver we, we finally got some rain, which is awesome. In British Columbia there were like, I don't know, more than 300 wildfires happening because of the heat. So I hope that it's uh, raining all over the place and helping. It's, it's not good. Um, how have you been? Let me know in the comments. The summer is going strong. It's hot everywhere, perfect time for vacation. I hope that all of you have a chance to enjoy. As you can see, the ladder is already shaping. Very nice consistency. I will just add a little bit more water. I like a bit thicker ladder, not too airy. And the bow is very comfortable. And the brush is doing fantastic work. Uh, 
as expected plenty of leather because my scoop was generous yeah the the smell is very pleasant um, i cannot distinct the specific scent note yeah it's just just nice mix whatever scent notes they use uh, just pleasant clean fresh good everyday scent for any occasion okay excellent here nice and shiny leather i'll prepare my face yes i like the smell a lot i think that i prefer it compared to the barber shop smell of the rockwell the leather is very slick i can feel it so yeah how have you all been doing did you purchase something cool I tried to slow down on my purchases, but it's so hard. There are a lot of cool, cool things releasing, a lot of nice soaps for the summer. What have you purchased? I'm curious to know. For the razor today, I'm going back to my Hansen aluminum, the mild version. It's been some time since I shaved with it. Um, and lately, it, after trying the Apex aluminum during my trip, I feel that I don't mind the light razors that much. I don't know, maybe my opinion changes. Uh, but yeah, let's go with the first pass. And for the blade, uh, I'm using, I think, Gillette Nasset. And it's on the third or fourth use. So Sterling Soap, they have very wide range of soaps. Quite a few soaps grabbed my attention when I was checking. Uh, some time ago what they offer and I watched an interview with the owners of the company and they just recommended during that interview whoever is considering trying them to just check their uh, samples and yeah I checked them and saw that the samples are really good price and you also get a lot of soap, so you can do more than one shave. Really nice residual slickness. The razor glides well. So that's what I did. I ordered quite a few samples. And yeah, finally I'm shaving with them. Too many things accumulated in a short period of time. <laughs> I still have quite a few soaps to share with you. have just a day and a half or close to two days of growth Very nice. Let's prepare the face for the second pass. Sterling are also making other products. We just ordered a few of their uh, shampoo uh, bars and conditioner bars. My wife is interested to try them. good timing with this shave I can share this with you as well yeah, I think that they have uh, I don't know if they have liquid uh, gels or shampoos but they may have they have a wide variety of things they, they also have nice brushes I have one sterling synthetic brush my first brush and I'm very happy with it
Let me know in the comments what's your favorite sterling soap. I know that they're very popular and I'm sure that probably all of you tried them. Which one do you have? Which one do you like? Or which one you don't like? You know, there are some things that we may buy sometimes and we may not like that much. Okay, let's prepare the face for the third pass. Very pleasant, yeah. I like when I reapply the ladder and getting a little bit of scent boost. That smell is nice and fresh. By the way, from, from the last videos, there are a lot of cool comments, interesting questions and suggestions. Let me know if you have any, any questions about either this shave or, or some of the other shaves that I did or reviews. Um, I really like the engagement and I get a lot of cool, cool ideas from all of you. Uh, and if you have some requests to see a shave or some comparison, uh, I'm happy to do it if I can, of course. And yeah, I appreciate all your likes as well, subscriptions. It really means, and it means a lot and helps the channel. So I want to reach more people uh, that may may not have information about the traditional wet shaving with double edge safety razors. So yeah, that really helps. Nice audio feedback. I enjoy hearing the razor and the against the grain pass. Wonderful residual slickness. It's a good performing soap. And I'm sure that that sample was staying for a while. Uh, you know, being packed just in a, in a nylon maybe affects the soap a little bit, so probably a soap from a puck will perform even better or it will be a bit less dry, maybe slightly easier to lather. But lathering this one was very easy as well, as you could see. Excellent, I'll rinse the face and we'll move to the post shave. Time for the alum. Alright, I didn't overdo with the pressure. Nothing from the alum. Excellent. And that's the thing with the Hanson, it's very mild, it's very gentle on the skin, but after you uh, find out that you may like a bit more uh, aggressive razors or heavier razors. When you use it, you may start pressing a lot. That's what I do. And that's actually scraping the skin quite a bit because these razor blades are sharp. And that may irritate the skin a bit. But today I was not doing this. So that's good. I'm gonna rinse it. And as I was rinsing the face and drying it, I feel the smell actually being present on my face. Really fresh and nice. I don't expect it to stay because I don't have the splash, but yeah, it's good. Maybe my nose was just getting used to it. For a splash, I don't have a sample splash, so we're gonna go with tires, a little bit of witch hazel. A lot of people are using this one. 
I like it for the summer it's nice and cooling uh, and for the bound what we are gonna choose for the bound all right let's keep it simple with a classic that I use most of my life Nivea sensitive skin this is the cooling one there is the regular one as well both are fantastic excellent value that they are very cheap you can find them anywhere in your grocery stores pharmacies it's absorbed by the skin quickly and the cooling one is having nice cooling effect excellent for the summer okay so today we checked the barber shop by Sterling you can see that generous uh, section here that I scooped from the sample very pleasant nice soap excellent value even just ordering the, the sample puck yeah this will last you a lot of shaves Look, this is generous for more than enough shave so if you want to really be um, saving it you can have maybe I don't know 30 shaves 20 shaves out of it yeah I can see that for the razor we used the Hanson aluminum it's been a while really nice shave good for your skin if you have sensitive skin I continue to use my Zenit bore brush a new favorite in my brush collection thanks to everybody that suggested to try Zenit my new fine uh, ball really nice ball and for the splash we use tires and as you saw Nivea thanks for joining me today for this shave I'll try to upload the next video a bit uh, sooner than this one. Meanwhile, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.